What is up, YouTube? Emperor Freed here. Anyways, I rarely have ever post videos about myself, but I think this one's pretty good because it just shows why I have no time to play fucking Brawlhalla. But um, anyways, uh, behind me are all my books that I have to study. Uh, I'm currently a junior in undergrad and I am a quadruple major. So be prepared to watch as I uh, show you all the books I have to read. So this is all the books I have to read. I have read half of these. Um, there's only like four books in here that are like somewhat interesting that are not about math, CS, or statistics. So those are, this one is a cookbook. That's a Rolex book I got at the Rolex store. That's an Atlas. And uh, this is another cookbook. Those are the only books that I have that aren't some sort of fucking quantitative research shit. So, because <laughs> that's the job of me. I want to be a quant. But um, yeah, because of that, you know, I have absolutely no time uh, to play Brawlhalla because uh, I'm too busy reading. So half of these books I've already uh, read. I've read half of all of these books. I half half of all these books. Is that how you say that? I don't know. I'm not a reading major, but um, or language English major. In any case, yeah, half of these books are done, and half of them aren't even that hard. Um, I would say the complete entirety of all this top row is pretty much done, um, barring like probability and abstract algebra book. I haven't completely finished that, but like the calculus proofs book. Um, that's a pre-calc book over there. Oh, I haven't finished this book. This book, whoo, almost fucking fell. This book is hard as fuck, bro. This advances in financial machine learning. This book is so hard. You need like a PhD to read that book. And people say it's a beginner book. Uh, beginner if you have a PhD, maybe. But everything else, no. Um, and then some books here I have finished. Um, Effective Modern C++ I finished because uh, I needed to learn C++. I have a C++ templates book that I have read a little bit, but not all of. I have a few statistics books. I have this statistics book, which is the one they use at uh, Cornell, because my school uh, statistics class is horrible. Uh, at least the school that I, I was going to, I transfer schools, but that's besides the point. They have a horrible probability statistics course. Um, that ends up being just a glorified SPSS course. If you don't know what SPSS is, then that's a good thing. Anyway, I have another uh, elementary statistics, which is an easier version of this book, um, because you know sometimes you don't fucking understand what they're yapping about in this book, so you need to read this book. Uh, after that, I have some really high-level math books, so I haven't got into yet complex analysis, numerical analysis. This geometry book starts off so easy, and then it just falls off. I don't like geometry. Um, I'm a big algebra person. I like applied math. Uh, that's kind of what I want to be a quant. Because uh, quants really, you, I could have been done with, by the time I got to linear algebra, which is um, right here, these two books. By the time I finish these two books, I'll be good. I don't need the other books. But of course, um, I have a math, I have to work towards my math major. And so I have to finish this. Um, and the last thing we're going to do in our math major senior year is topology. So hopefully I can get to this book before um, the end of junior year, since I kind of want to be just over with this already. Um, I have no interest in any more advanced mathematics past linear algebra, um, just because it's not going to help me in my job. I mean, the, the problem solving skills probably, but like even geometry doesn't necessarily help me in my job at all. Um, since, you know, models of the stock market don't really need geometry. Uh, in any case, I have a bunch of coding books too, and one cooking book, but this is a Python book. This is like eight Python books in one book. Um, this is mostly, this is a guide. Um, I thought it was a reference at first, but it's not. It's like a full Python guide. So getting through that whole thing is, it's going to be kind of arduous, but I'll probably end up going through it. I know how to code in Python, and I took a Python class and passed it, but um you know, having in-depth knowledge of how Python works is not necessarily a bad thing. And if I end up wanting to be a quant developer instead of a quant researcher, then I can do that. Um, it's just it's just short for quantitative, by the way. Uh, Code Complete is a book that everybody and their dad reads. Um, I literally only bought it just because everybody else bought it. It is um, probably the book that I'm going to read last just because it's fucking like 1,500 pages and I just don't need all that, especially since I'm not going into software development. Um, I'm going into quant research, so it's like the last thing I need, but I, I will read it anyway. I have a lot of trading books um, and exchanges. This is also why I kind of just don't tell people like, 
um, <laughs> stuff about the stock. Because people were like, oh, you have four majors and like you want to be a quant, so you must be really good with the stock market. I'm like, no, the fuck? You need to be rich for half of this shit because it just doesn't work otherwise. Um, you need to have a lot of upfront capital. At least in my opinion, I feel like you need to have a lot of upfront capital. And this is just what I've gathered from, you know, researching all this stuff. But um, yeah, trading books. I have a few trading books. I have these two. I have one over there. I have this book on high frequency trading, which is different from quant, uh, quant research and quant trading, since this involves more coding and more computers. But I think it's a pretty interesting book, uh, nonetheless. These two books are very easy. This is um, beginner and intermediate algebra, so something that you would probably take in like I don't know ninth grade, and then because this goes through like algebra one, algebra two. Um, this is uh, college algebra, so kind of like this book but for college so maybe a little more difficult um and yeah uh i have two kind of, these are like these are quant interview question books and if you go online people will tell you oh you just need to read the zo book bro the green book no you don't if you get through this whole book you will be very knowledgeable but um you'll quickly realize that you kind of need everything else um now do you need all of these books probably not um uh, I mean, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> you probably don't need all of the books, but having them won't actually hurt you, especially since, like, again, most quants have a PhD in this stuff. They don't really do it out of undergrad, which is what I want to do out of undergrad. Um, in any case, that's uh, this is what's been keeping me busy and has been keeping me off Brahalla. In any case, I don't even like... Yo, see, that's the problem, too, because Brahalla is, like... It's the back of my head, and it's already enough of a stressful game because I play cross, and who the fuck wants to play cross? All right, and <laughs> I swear I'll be over calculating things. I'll figure out that game one of these days. All right, because in the back of my head, I'm like, if I made an AI and I just trained it to play cross, it would be the best player in the whole game. Like it'd be untouchable. So then, why am I making this excuse that my character's ass? Like, <laughs> like I'm a human, obviously, but like. If I did make this AI, it would be perfect, and it would win everything on cross. And so, really, why am I complaining about my character? Because I don't play as perfect as this, as this AI. Like, so I, I can't really complain, right? Um, so, uh, no, that's my methodology for not complaining about cross. I probably still will do it, but, uh, yeah, so, you know. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and uh, this insight into uh, my addiction.